hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i will show you how to make a diy flashlight using uh, seawater and recycled materials okay so i got here an empty plastic uh, container and this is an activated uh, carbon filter from a water refilling station they just throw it away from a month of use so they just gave it to me for free and I got here an old and dead uh, dirty microphone so the shell of this microphone is made of magnesium and magnesium is a good conductor of electricity so magnesium will be our negative uh, rod and this carbon filter will be our positive rod okay so let's go and make a DIY flashlight using sea water okay I'll just cut this filter okay okay now I made a cut and let's try to fit in oh my goodness it's not getting in oh there you are I think I need to remove this go okay <coughs> then I'm going to make a hole okay, so we need to make a hole on top of this two hole Now we need the graphite rod inside this old and dead battery. All you need to do is uh, strip the top cover of the battery. Just like that. There you go and we need two of these then insert the graphite thread to the hole okay so we need two of this and there you go Get here a copper wire stranded all you need to do is just uh, wrap around to the graphite rod use a flyer to make it tighter okay I think that's good and also the other side Then we are going to secure it with a uh, glue. We will connect this together, and this will be the positive. Put a glue stick to secure the connection and to avoid corrosion of the copper wire.
Now we're going to connect this together, these two red wire. Now it's time for our negative rod. I'm going to put this inside the uh, filter. I'm going to cut this here. Okay, let me just uh, put a mark. Okay, let me, let me just cut it here. maybe like this okay so all we need to do now is to uh, connect a wire here and we got negative now it's time to put this uh, carbon uh, filter inside the plastic jar there you go and the magnesium uh, metal but in order to do that we need to make an insulation between between the positive and the negative okay I got this here just cut there you go then cover we are going to make a small hole for the uh, wire and we connect the boost converter okay Okay guys, now we're going to connect all the wires, but before that, we need to secure it with a uh, glue so that it won't, uh, there will be no uh, water leakage coming out from this uh, plastic cover. Okay. guys now let's connect the wire just twist it then later on I'm going to uh, tape it using an electrical tape
and attack this one by going to fill it with seawater. Okay. So I got here seawater. Just fill it up with seawater. There you go. Then we're going to test how many bolts we can get. Oh, there you go. We got 1.48 volts. That's a good sign. Now, in order to increase the voltage, we need this boost converter. It can boost the voltage output up to 5 volts. Okay, the out is 5 volts. And this is the input. Now let's cover it up. And the boost converter here. Then we get a uh, male USB and an LED. Okay, so this is the positive. There you go. Yeah, it's so bright. Guys, look at that. Let's just secure it. I'm going to put it here. Just add some to stick. Then stick it to the side. There you go. Then let's connect the wire. I think this is uh, way too long. Give me a second. Sorry guys, my video is taking too long. But what important is they, this is a continuous shot. Okay, look at that. That is so bright. <laughs> okay, let's just add some glue stick here. And there you go. Look at that. Okay. Let me test this into the dark room. Hey! Wow! It's so bright. <laughs> hey guys, thank you for Thank you for watching my uh, video and thank you for finishing till the end and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell 
for more exciting videos and tutorials my goodness <laughs> so bright guys very bright